Hey, Sean here from SpeedCubeReview.com. So we have an unboxing. Now before I begin, I want to thank SpeedCubeShop.com for sending me this. You can stop by the store and use discount code CUBEREVIEW to save 10% on your order. So we've got a lot of stuff here. First off, a shirt. SpeedCube Shop has been really ramping up their clothing line. I think they also have some like iPhone cases. I want one of those kind of simple. This one has a nice little logo along the side of it. So I will model this. I'll probably put the photo in the video in just a second. There you go. Okay, so we've got quite a few things here. I have a Fengxi Zhiyun, a stickerless tornado. We have the new Weipo. This is the new YJ 5x5. I have a stickerless Huashuang and, no, sorry, Boshuang. And I have, what is this? Oh, this is the Chi Yi Storm. So first I'm gonna explain why I ordered a couple of these things. I'm gonna say some of this for the end. So a lot of it is just because I wanna check it out and some of it is extras so I can give things away. Let me zoom in a little bit here. There we go. So Speed Cube Shop has these clear stickers now you can put over your regular one. I know they're giving away them for free with any three by three order while supplies last. I don't know what they're gonna do after that if you can just order them or not. Okay, so here is the GU. Now what I want to check with this is I have the mini version. Oh, is this another one? That's another one. Okay, so I have the mini version. Let me grab that in just a second. Now the difference between the mini version and the full size, the full size has these grooves in it. And I don't have the full size. And I want to see what that was like, especially for later comparisons. So, it works just like a Zhiyun. I think people don't realize how well the corner cutting is in this. But, now the one thing with the stickers is they are embossed in there. So you can't really, not embossed, but they're inside these little holes. So, if you are to re-sticker it, if they're bigger than this, they're going to kind of peel over or stick over. So this is, you're almost stuck with this size of sticker, but this is really nice. I have to break this in a little bit and use this for a little bit. Next, we have the stickerless tornado. Now the reason I want to get this is one, I'm going to be, this is too close. There we go. One, is that I'm going to be giving away at least one of the tornadoes I have. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe. That way you'll know when that giveaway happens. Ooh, that is luby. <laughs> Someone on Facebook posted their sticker list. And I looked at it and I'm like, that does not look like the colors of the thunderclap. And they're not. This is the thunderclap. Now these are supposedly produced in the same factory. So I don't know if these are going to become the normal shades. The orange looks the same. The green is definitely not. I am super happy about that green. This is kind of see-through. This is really my only reason why I don't use this. Red looks a little bit darker. Blue looks a little bit darker. This yellow is, that's weird. I might, I'm just gonna take a little while to get used to this yellow. Ooh, did I just get a corner twist? I did. Super loose tensions. But this will be a lot of fun to use. I'm gonna have to use this for a little bit to see if those color schemes, or if that color is a little bit easier to see. But there we go. Boschwang. Now you know I love me some stickerless cubes. That is nice. I was gonna say this feels a little bit more gummy than my other one, but I don't think it is. I think this is actually dry. But you might be asking if I already have one, why am I getting stickerless? Because I want the stickerless. And I'm gonna pass along the other one to you guys. So again, there'll be a giveaway for a Boschwang coming up. Yeah, I love these colors. Every company should copy these colors. I'm gonna compare this real quick to the new YJ 5x5. What is this one called? The Yushuang. Yushang, Yushuang. Let me know in the description how you actually pronounce that. This reminds me of a very light Auschwang. Now, I've heard a lot of people talk about how small these layers are and what are they doing with this. This was standard for some time. 
this is my wash line. And they're the exact same size. So I saw some reviews where they thought this was some new thing they're doing. This is not some new thing they're doing. This is kind of the old thing they're doing. The big difference between the Auschwang and the Huashwang was the Huashwang had a much tighter mechanism and would not allow those locks to happen. This obviously can. Now it can in the Boshwang as well. So that's not really a horrible thing if you actually are good at your accuracy of turning, which I am not having that accuracy right now. Here we have the Chi Yi Storm. This is their latest one. I actually wanted to get stickerless, but they were out of it, and the day this shipped, they got stickerless in. So, ah, too bad for me. This feels, is this 62 millimeters? I believe so. That is definitely 62 millimeters. Here's my Weisu. For just a quick mention of how this feels, it's nice. It's about $11. Um, I don't see this replacing my Cyclone Boys G4 or my Aosu, but I'm gonna break it in, see how this feels, and we have to figure out what I can do to set this up. So, one more, the Waypo, the two by two. Now, I did not know this came in stickerless. Already, this feels light. Before I turn it, I'm gonna grab the Tang Po. Here is the Tang Po, and just already, yeah, it feels a lot lighter. Here is the U Po? What was the one for the Tang Po? Whatever that was, I'll look it up. All right, so, wait, which one was which? Tang Po had those little grooves in it, or the cutouts. This does not. <laughs> As you can tell, I put a lot of heavy lube in my Tang Po. Uh, well, it's definitely not wanting to pop, but reverse is pretty nice. Okay, first impressions, forward corner cutting on the tang po, way beyond the out of the box way po. Reverse corner cutting on the tang po, not as good as the Waypo. Are these cutouts bigger? I think so, slightly. I think the Waypo cutouts are just slightly bigger than the Tang Po, and that might be helping with that reverse corner cutting. So, let me make a quick conclusion with this. We've got the Waypo right now, decent to be two. reminds me a lot of the one before the Tang Po. The Waypo, yeah, it feels a little bit lighter, it has a bit more flexibility to it. It, it. I mean, it's nice. I actually think this. I like this a little bit better than the Tang Po, just because, you know, it, I like that feeling of it. It didn't. I don't want my two by twos to be very heavy, but it reminds me of that old one. So if you didn't like the Tang Po and like the previous version, this might be more for you. Okay, then we have Yushuang. This is a pretty decent budget 5x5. Five five. If you like the Auschwang and wanted a replacement, this would be a good one to get that. But the Shangshu Wind, as well as the Yushin and Boshwang being, you know, a little bit more, but still not bad for a 5x5, five five. I don't know how well it's going to compete. Chi Storm, good stable feeling 4x4. Four four. Um... I don't know if it would ever become someone's main. I think if this was modified and the holes were a little bit bigger, that would definitely help. Stickerless Boshwang, you know how that is. I'm going to put the link in the description to the Boshwang review, but it's stickerless, so woohoo. The Tornado, stickerless. I will, what is, this is like some, that's not on top. That is in the plastic. Well, is that competition legal anymore? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that. But I'll be giving away one of these, the black one that I have. We have the Zhi Yun with a little, whoop. This is one of the issues with it. Caps fell off. There we go, we're back. If I ever plan on using this as a main, I would definitely super glue those caps on. Lastly, we have the shirt, which you guys saw how glorious that looked. So I already have a review of the X-Men Tornado and the Boshwang. Those will be in the description. 
Chi Storm. I don't know if I'm going to do a specific review on this one, but I'll probably do a new 4x4 Mega comparison because there's been so many new 4x4s out. The Yushuang, I'll probably do a quick review of that one. Weipo, definitely review. Probably a new 2x2 comparison because there's been a lot of new ones for there as well. And the Ji Yun, I was already a review of that one. So these three reviews in the description, these three, at least comparisons coming up in the future. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Leave your questions and thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, stop by speedqbview.com for more news and reviews.